A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B. English is such so much fun. English education for you and everyone. So come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Uh -huh. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. It's time to start the show. Are you ready? Good plus, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, M, O, N, A, plus, English. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to A Plus English. I'm Adam. And I'm Elsie. And finally, we get to finish this exciting story about the Wemix. It seems there's a lot of drama in this story.、Mm -hmm. You got wooden creatures,、mm -hmm. stickers,、yeah. one with no stickers,、mm -hmm. named Lucia,、mm -hmm. and one who used to always want good star stickers. What's gonna happen? <laughs> well, I know it's exciting and it's a special story. And let's take a look at our main character, Punchinello.、Mm -hmm. Punchinello finally found a friend who he wants to be more like, and I mean, I think we can all relate to that, right? You all want to find, or we all want to find someone who is a good friend, or who thinks like us, or we want to be better like them. Can you think of anyone in your life that you know you want to be like, or that you? Like to hang around? Oh, so that's actually our warm-up question, right? Exactly. Who cares about you and calls you special in your life? Oh, you know my answer. You care about me and you call me special every day. I know. Well, that's an easy answer, right? <laughs> that's an easy thing. We're married, so you have to say that. But you are really the only person that does so. Okay. Well, you are as well for me. But if you had to think of maybe someone else that is in your life, besides your maybe my friends,、okay. maybe I'm my other family. Your other family, or <laughs> how many families do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my other family members. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, what do you guys think? Who cares about you and calls you special in your life? For me, it's you, Elsie. It's my wife. Ah, maybe the cat. But also maybe yeah, it's your pet or that you talk to, um, or you know your mom and dad or your best friend, right? Well, let's check back into our story to see what's going on with Punchinello. Remember, he had to go back into Eli's the woodcarver shop. To see why Lucia was always going there every day, right?、Mm -hmm. All right. You are special. Warm-up question: Who cares about you and calls you special in your life? Punchinello walks to Eli's shop. Eli sees Punchinello's many dots. Punchinello feels embarrassed. I don't care about anyone's dots or stars. They don't matter," says Eli. Punchinello doesn't agree with this. Well, jumping back into our story, everyone, Punchinello walks to Eli's shop. Okay, so Eli is the woodcarver, as we all know. Right. And he walks there.、Mm -hmm. What does he do there? What well, does he say? To Eli. Well, he wants to see what's happening inside, right? So when he gets there, Eli sees Punchinello's mini dots. Punchinello feels embarrassed. Speaking、Aww. of feeling embarrassed, what makes you feel embarrassed? Oh, ah,、uh, that's a pretty good one. That's an easy one for me. When I slip or fall down on the sidewalks, you I, feel embarrassed. I feel embarrassed. One time, I was riding a U bike. And it was raining, and, <laughs> and it you was, fell down. And it was in front of everyone, and bi a big crosswalk, right? It's maybe like on Nanjing and Fuxing. And I'm riding, and I'm on the sidewalk being safe. And then I try to turn the bike, and bam! I fall down in front of about maybe thirty people who are waiting to cross the road.、Oh, I felt so embarrassed, like an idiot. That was pretty embarrassing. Exactly. What about you? What makes you feel embarrassed? I would feel embarrassed when I, you know, wave to somebody、mm -hmm. or say hi 
to somebody, mm. but they didn't, you know, seem to know me. Oh, right. Or when they forget your name. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, that hey. would be very embarrassing. <laughs> that sometimes, yeah, exactly. Well, why does Punchinello feel embarrassed? He says Eli tells Punchinello something very yeah, important. Yeah, because Punchinello right? was like, Ah, oh, don't look at me. I'm so embarrassed. Right. He's like, oh, I'm so ugly because this is what all the other Wemmicks tell Punchinello. So Eli tells him, I don't care about anyone's dots or stars. They don't matter, says Eli. So Eli is, you know, reassuring Punchinello that, hey, these stars and these dots, they don't care. They don't make up who you are. Yeah, they're not important. But Punchinello doesn't agree with this. He doesn't think Eli is right. Right, he thinks Eli is wrong. And, but that's the thing, right? If everyone in the village wants good stickers, it's almost like comparing the stickers to iPhones. Everyone wants to have the new iPhone, and then if you don't have the iPhone, then you're not special, and you can't share. Okay, I get your point. Right. You're trying to say that you're so special because you don't have an iPhone. I have a Samsung, so maybe I'm Punchinello, and you're the rest of the village that has all has the iPhone. So I'm not special. (laughs) You are unique. He says, I came because I met someone with no stickers. Eli says, I know. She stopped caring about other people's opinions. People's stickers won't stay on when you don't care about them. Remember, you are special. I care about you because I made you, and I don't make mistakes. I think he really means it, thinks Punchinello. At the same time, a dot falls to the ground. Okay, so what happens next? Okay, are you excited? Yes, of course. All right, well, he says, I came because I met someone with no stickers. Okay, he meant Lucia. Very good, yeah. Lucia goes there every day, so he's like, I'm coming back to see what's happening in in their woodcarver's house. Why does she never have stickers? Well, Eli says, I know, she stopped caring about other people's opinions. Mm, She doesn't care about what other people think. Mm -hmm. She's a smart Wemmick, right? So if you were one of the Wemmicks, Mm -hmm. would you care about getting stickers or not? Would you care about getting Golden Star stickers? If I was a Wemmick? Mm -hmm. (sighs) Probably, right? You'd probably, yeah. yeah. You, everyone, like, if you're a make believe character or in a story like that. But what I about. I might pretend that I don't care, but actually, I would care a lot about it. Oh, okay. You would tell people you don't care, and then you'd go home and maybe cry because you do care. Right. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, the thing is, as I get older and as everyone gets older, you know, I do feel more like Lucia, where. All these things that we have don't really matter that much, Mm. right? But there are so many people that love to judge others or share their opinions. What can we do about these people? Mm, Well, I mean, that's a hard thing. You just Yeah, they're always like, let me tell you something. Well, especially with social media in today's day and age, right? Where everyone's like, look at what I have. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Everyone's showing off all the things and it makes you feel that you need those things too. But in reality, maybe, you know, you don't really need those things as long as you have good friends and good family members around you. Yeah, I think that's called FOMO. If you look at somebody's, you know, social media Uh and they always post good things about themselves and you'll get a little bit emotional and depressed. Right. Yeah. And a lot of times those people that do that. They're not happy either, right? I mean, how many times did it take them to take that picture, that perfect picture, or take that perfect, uh, have that perfect product, right? Oh, that happened to me. (laughs) You know, you took a hundred pictures of me. And they're never good. (laughs) (laughs) Well, what happens inside Eli's wood carving's house? He's, remember, they're still talking. And so uh, Eli says in our last sentence, he's like, you know, stop caring about other people's opinions. So what happens next? People's stickers won't stay on when you don't care about them. So Lucia, 
her stickers don't stick to her. The the dots don't stick to her. The gold ones don't stick to her because she doesn't care about them. She doesn't them. care, so they fall off. Remember, you are special. I care about you because I made you.、Mm. Mm, so remember, Eli is telling them, you know, you don't need these stickers. You're special, and if you keep trying to get them, yeah, they'll stick on. But once you stop caring, you'll be more free, and they'll just fall off like water. Yeah, and Eli also says another thing. Yeah, a very important thing. He says, and I don't make mistakes. So Eli never meant for these little creatures to get stickers. Because each one is special in its own way, and he made them that way because he doesn't make mistakes. Very well said. Yeah, each one is supposed to be just the way they are, and he continues to say, "I think he really means it." Thinks Punchinello. Continuing on, it says, "At the same time, a dot falls <gasps> to the ground." Wow. So he's shedding the dots, and they're just hitting the floor or the ground. Because he's starting to learn to how you know how he should not or how he doesn't have to care about those stickers. Right. It's a beautiful story about how to learn, you know, feeling good about ourselves and accepting others just the way we are. It shows us, you know, how being kind and connected to others is more important than what others think or have. Well said. <laughs> well, let's jump into our vocabulary. 好，接下来到单词的部分。第一个要看到的是 agree 这个动词，就是认同或是持相同的意见。Agree with somebody， 同意某人。Agree to do something， 同意做某事。Agree that 后面你还可以加一个子句来说明你同意的事情是什么。那相反就是在字首加上 dis 变成 disagree， 那就是不同意。单词例句给的是呢 ，Brad agreed with my ideas for the project. He thinks they are good. Brad 赞同我对这个计划的想法，他觉得那些点子很不错。再来第二个单词是 opinion 这个名词，指的是意见，指的是看法。An honest opinion, 那就是一个诚实的意见看法。那我们要尊重别人的意见看法，就是要 respect one's opinion。那如果你对某事抱有强烈的看法，你可以说 I have strong opinions on something。那你要问别人的看法，你可以说 What's your opinion on this matter？ 单词例句给的是呢 ，Everyone in the class has a different opinion about the new teacher。Some enjoy her class, but others don't. 班上的每个人对这位新老师都有不同的看法。有些人喜欢他的课，有些人则不喜欢。在第三个单词是 mistake 这个名词，指的是错误。Make a mistake， 那就是犯错。好，搭配的动词是 make 这个字。那犯错就要意识到自己犯错，所以是要 realize your mistake。那意识到之后，你就要承认你的错误。You admit your mistake. 最后再从错误当中学习。You learn from the mistake. 那单词例句给的是呢 ，Giving up on my dream too soon was the biggest mistake of my life. 太快就放弃我的梦想是我一生当中最大的错误。那在第四个单词是 ground 这个名词，指的是地面，特别指的是室外的地面哦。On the ground 就是在地面上。那如果是跌落、掉落在地面上，那用的是 fall, fall to the ground. 那室内的地面呢？用的就是 floor 这个字 ，f l o o r。单词例句给的是呢 ，I was sad when I dropped my ice cream on the ground。当我把冰淇淋掉落在地面上的时候，我好伤心啊。And what we're going to do is we're going to use our vocab in questions to ask each other, so you can do it with your classmate as well. So the first、uh, vocab word will be agree. 动词认同，持相同意见 Second one, opinion. 名词意见看法 Third one, mistake. 名词错误 And fourth one, ground. 名词地面 So the first question with our vocabulary word is this. Let me ask you this question. Okay. 
What do you do when you don't agree with someone? Hmm. When I don't agree with somebody. When you disagree with that person. Okay. I will listen to them and I will respectfully, you know, state or say my opinion, and maybe they disagree as well, and then that's the end of it. But we can always agree to disagree. What does agree to disagree mean? It means basically like a tie. Oh. When you say, okay, I think this, you think that, but maybe there are some common things that we both think, but we're not going to ever really agree on the thing. Oh, it's kind of like you compromise. Exactly, we compromise. Okay, here's. The、But not to fight. Don't fight when you disagree with someone. Okay, don't fight.、Mm. Just listen and talk about it. Exactly. All right. Number two. Do you like to share your personal opinions on something? I don't like to do that.、Mm. I hate sharing my personal opinions. Okay. On anything. All right. Everything. On everything. Okay. What about number three? When you were a kid. Did you make a huge mistake and got your parents really mad? Yes, I made a huge mistake when I was young. What did I, you do? Ah,、oh, this is bad. <sighs>、uh, I'll be honest. Okay, I'll be honest. I'll tell you. When I was like thirteen or fourteen, I took my mom's credit card <gasps> and <laughs> I went. What do you use the card? <laughs> I went the. I used the. I used the card to buy some things at the supermarket. Why did? What did you buy? I don't remember now, but it wasn't much. It was some, you know, candy, some maybe <laughs> stuff like that. And she got the bill, and she was very angry. I was grounded. For What a did she、time. do? She grounded you. She grounded me for a long time, and said she might call the police on me. Oh my god! But she didn't. So that was a big mistake. And number four. What can you see on the ground? <laughs> This is such a bad question. <laughs> okay, what can you see on the ground? I、uh, can see trash on the ground. Oh yeah. I can see、um, ants and cockroaches on the ground. Yeah, sometimes rats on the ground. Ew! What about you? What、uh, can you see on the ground?、Uh, I can see the ground on the ground. <laughs> I can see, <laughs> you know, some flowers on the ground, some, some dirt, some dirt and grass. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for you guys today. Talk to your teacher and talk to your classmates using these questions as、um, as vocabulary helpers to learn and to quicken your vocabulary knowledge. My name is Adam, and I'm Elsie. 想学更多实用的英文吗？欢迎加入 AMC 空中美语粉丝团哦。那我们就下次见了。See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Magic box. 如果说你打了喷嚏，哎，那一定是我在想你吗？哎，我甜心教主粉丝那么多，你怎么知道是我在想你嘞 ？It could be. Anybody, 可能是任何一个喜欢你的小伙伴在想你啦。说到任何人哦，这个任何人呢，可能是你的同班同学，你补习班的同学，便利商店的店员，还是呢这个你阿妈想你了。哎，任何人呢都有可能。这种时候呢，我们在英文里呢就要使用不定代名词喽。不定代名词啊，顾名思义呢，就是要代替任何一个不指定的人事物。这种呢，不定代名词有哪些啊？像是代替人的这个 everyone、everybody， 每个人，或者是呢 somebody、anybody， 某些人，还有这个 no one， 没有人，或者是呢，它也可以代替地方哦 ，everywhere， 每个地方。Somewhere, anywhere, 某些地方 nowhere, 没有任何地方。那当然呢，不定代名词也可以代替事物咯。像说呢 ，everything, 每一个东西，每一件事情 ，something, anything, 某些东西，或者是 nothing, 什么都没有。这些字词呢，在句子里的位置呢，就跟我们一般的代名词一样咯。它呢，可以在动词后面当受词，也可以在动词前面当主词。OK， 都有可能咯。比方说啊，怎么样？最近好忙哦，但是呢，忙的差不多告一个段落了。今年冬天，嗯，我好想去个哪里过圣诞节哦。I would like to go somewhere this Christmas. Go somewhere 就是去个哪里某个地方。或者是呢，比方说谁把书给了你？如果呢，通常有个确定的人呢，我们就会直接用指定他的代名词了。例如呢 ，Sam gave me this book， 
，或者是呢 ，My teacher gave this book to me. OK， 山姆给了我，或者是我的老师给了我。那如果是不定代名词的话呢，我们怎么造句呢 ？Someone gave me this book. 某人呢、哦、给了我这本书，可能呢他就放在我桌上离开了，不知道是谁，谁都有可能。这种时候呢，我们呢就要使用不定代名词喽。现在啊，我们知道不定代名词的意思跟句子里它应该放在哪里。接下来啊，记得要特别留意否定句的用法喽。否定句啊，只能用 any 开头的不定代名词哦。比方说啊，今天你好饿，好饿，我说，哎，你赶快吃点东西啊。I don't have anything to eat. 我没有任何东西可以吃啊。注意到呢，否定呢，我们就用 any 引导的代名词，或者是呢，我们可以使用 no 开头的这个不定代名词呢，也有一样的意思喽。I have nothing to eat. 我没有东西可以吃。但是呢，这边要提醒一下喽，虽然意思是一样的，不过语气可是不同的哦。如果呢，我们用 any 开头的字词来否定呢，就是在描述事实，我没有，没有人， OK。但是呢，如果我们用 no 开头的字词来改写的话，语气会变得更强烈，而且会传达出愤怒啊、绝望这样子的负面情绪了。比方说啊，有记者在路上拦住我了，哎哎，小姐，请问你对于这次选举候选人有什么看法呢？ Oh， I don't know anything about him. 这时呢，我们是中立的、哦，我真的不知道，不认识他。但如果呢，我是说，嗯 ，I know nothing about it。这种时候呢，我们就很明显的表现出防卫了。我可能知道，但是呢，我不想跟你说。哎，所以呢，大家造句的时候呢，可要特别注意喽。